It's been more than nine months and since in a matter of hours, three people were found dead in Burton Heights in Grand Rapids. So far, no arrests. I talked with the police chief for an update on the case. It seems like um, not too long ago that at, at the location of, uh, oh boy, it was on Horton Street. It was November 2023 when this neighborhood swarmed by police cars. Three individuals killed in a very short period of time. Victims Anaya Rodriguez, Malik Eubanks, and Daryl Yarber all shot and killed. Two of the individuals appeared to have been uh, pushed out of a vehicle. Two victims found at one point. A short while later, a third victim located. The odds of that being related just, uh, uh, in my experience, are very high. Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom recalls it well. While we're making progress, we have not yet made an arrest in this case. Saying while he knows it's been an agonizing time for family members and loved ones of the victims. I wouldn't call it a cold case. The case could heat up with the help of the public. Uh, a lot of ex uh, love expressed by the community and support, a lot of cooperation, but still we know that there are adults who are involved in this, who, who are friends with individuals who are involved in this that have more information that should be coming forward. Anyone with information is asked to contact Silent Observer, where you can always remain 100% anonymous. Reporting, I'm Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.